I'm not doing anything right now. All right, good morning, folks. This is uh, Danny from Danny's Luxury Cruise Vacations with uh, my friend and colleague, Mr. Sean Tubman with Region 7 Seas. He's a VP with the company. We've known each other for years, worked together for a long time, and Sean is kind enough this morning on the beautiful Navigator of the Seas to share a few moments with us on Region 7 Seas. And I'm going to ask Sean today a question which he's gonna share with us uh, his response. So Sean, my question for you today is, what's new and exciting with Regent and what makes Regent so special in the cruise industry? And again, thank you for your time, Sean. And we only have five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we could take uh, whatever. <laughs> right. Well, it's great to be with you, Danny. Thank and, you, Sean. And we've known each other a long, long time. Yes. You're fantastic at what you do and great support of all the cruise lines. So we appreciate it. Um, man, what is not uh, new at Regent Seven Seas? Uh, you know, the luxury market um, continues to expand. Uh, people are uh, really doing well these days and they're taking lots of cruises, lots of vacations. Um, it's, it's become more affordable because we've really uh, put more uh, inclusive elements into the experience. And so it may look a little higher on the price point up front, uh, but uh, when you start stacking up these different uh, items that are included in the price, and you look at it at a total spend basis, what somebody's gonna actually spend at the end of the day, um, it's very close to the contemporary cruise prices and the premium cruise prices. It's definitely a little bit higher. You know, it's usually 10 or 20% higher, um, but that's well worth it for a luxury experience. Um, and there's a huge difference uh, between a contemporary cruise, as you know, and a premium cruise, and then a luxury cruise. And it's, it's, it's multifaceted. Um, it's everything from the hardware, the ships themselves, um, to the software, the service and, and cuisine and ambiance on the ships. Um, so we have currently four ships. Um, we have uh, capacities of 500 to 750 guests on our ships. And they're all suites. They all have walk-in closets, all marble bathrooms. Um, it is a true luxury experience. Uh, our, our staff to guest ratio is basically one to one, so we have pretty much a staff member for every guest. Um, so it's the best service going, um, the best cuisine going. It's, it's just an all around exceptional, unrivaled experience. Um, as I, as I was talking about a little bit before, it, it is affordable and it's typically, uh, we don't have many first time cruisers on our line. Most of them have cruised before and they started out in the contemporary market. They may have done a seven day or a three or four day and the next cruise and the next cruise, they started to say, hey, you know, I wanna get a better suite. I wanna get a better accommodation on the ship next time. And so they pay a little bit more money and they get a much better experience on the next cruise. And from there they continue, as they you know continue to cruise, they start moving up and the value is there and the, the return on investment is there. Uh, so we typically see people graduating from contemporary to premium lines. And then from premium lines, they're coming to us uh, because they, they, they understand that value concept and they understand that 10 to 20% more is well worth it at the end of the day for what they get. They get a suite on the ship and they get everything included. So in our prices, we include airfare, we include all the shore excursions, um, and these are really nice excursions. These are not your city tour, half day city tour. Um, all the you know premium liquors on the ship, all the specialty dining, all the Wi-Fi, everything you can think of pretty right. much for a cruise experience. The airfares, even business class, all intercontinental flights go business class. So you can see the value in that. And when they when they stack it up, and we have we have great marketing pieces that you can help your clients with and show them the comparison between ourselves and getting a suite on a premium ship or a suite on a contemporary ship. You know, Norwegian Cruise Line has the Haven, for example, which is kind of a ship within a ship concept with their sort of high end. And people go from that to us very easily. Um, they may, you know, they may cruise with the kids or the families on Norwegian at the Haven. And then if they want to treat themselves to something special or celebrate an anniversary or, you know, birthday or retirement or any, any neat celebration, they come on us. Um, so it's just a it's just a seamless experience. It's 
great way to experience the destinations they go to. And people that cruise with us typically come back time and again. So our repeat factor is over 60% in some markets. Um, and it's because of this, you know, this unbelievable way to experience the world. And, and they not only book once a year, they book twice, three times a year. Um, so people really, really appreciate the value proposition that we, we afford. And uh, it's, a great, it's a great industry. The industry continues to grow. Uh, you and I have been doing this a long time and we've seen the growth in this industry. And it's very, very much mainstream now. And uh, you know, we're on this gorgeous ship uh, with Royal Caribbean right now and people are having a fantastic time. It's the, it's the trip of a lifetime for a lot of people. And you know, we see so many families on here too. Yeah. So, you know, it's, uh, it's the best thing going these days. Oh, it is. Yeah. I mean, I personally have been cruising since I'm three years old. <laughs> and I just turned 60, so that's. I feel something. like I was cruising since I was three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I started uh, right after college. And started working on the ships, yeah. and went from the ships to uh, sales. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I know you sell a lot of cruises, and I know your clients are really satisfied with everything you do. Um, so I hope that they consider us at some point, and and I think it's a natural progression that people that are cruising with you now uh, just again understand that there's opportunities out there right. um, to move up and to experience this. And so it, if it's for them, great. If it's not, great. So. And, and I certainly un understand, you know, they gravitate to region. Would you say, Sean, that not only the experience on board, like you just described, from the food, the service, the sweets, and all of that, but you're very much more focused on the destination versus a ship like this, where the ship is the destination, you're focused on <laughs> going yeah. the different yeah. places. Yeah, our clientele really, they really are destination focused. Uh, and then culture focus, cultural. Yep. They really want to experience the destination. They want to meet, you know, the the people. They want to exchange uh, right. ideas and so forth, and relationships with people. Um, so it's a much more uh, educational experience. Whereas, you know, the the big contemporary ships are. It's it is. It's a destination in itself, and people just have a blast doing That's all right. the activities and and. You know the water slides and all that kind of stuff. And here we're at an out island today. We're in the middle of Bahamas. That's right. It's their own island. You know that people they don't get to do this. Um, but for us, it's m much more of the uh, the experience. And right. we go all over the world. So we do cruises from seven days to ten to twelve to twenty to forty around the world. One hundred and twenty-four days. That's my dream. Um, yeah, yeah. And they sell. We have cruises. We we have inventory out right now. Uh, we're we're available through spring of 21 right now. Wow. We actually have, uh, there's a couple, you know, a couple hot, real hot destinations right now. I mean, Iceland is just super hot. Tokyo, Japan is super hot. We have three sailings in April of 21 that are sold out already. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> it just shows you, yeah. So uh, it is amazing, the booking window. Like yeah. people really, a lot of people, we open up these itineraries and they want to book right away. Others, you know, booking a year out, so forth, and we—it's a kind of a new phenomena that even for it was never really this way in the luxury market, but even in the luxury, you get people booking 30, 60, 90 days out these days. Uh, you know, people want to experience the world. You know, there's there's enough stress at work and there's enough stress in the world right now. They want to take care of themselves and they want to take care of their families and share those experiences right. with their their friends and families. So. Uh, it's been a great industry, and we're having a good time with That's it. That's right. So we yes, hope your 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 guests continue to, to travel with us. Well, I do have a guest, Sean, and I look forward to expanding and growing my business with you. And to anybody that's interested in learning more about Region 7 Seas, please feel free to reach out to myself, Danny, with Danny's Luxury Cruise Vacations at 201-664-0142. I have clients that go on Region. They keep coming back, and there's a reason that they do. Sean, I want to thank you for your time. Uh, <laughs> it's always pleasure. a pleasure seeing you and, yeah. and working with you. Thanks. Thank it's you. great to see you. And, and, and keep in mind, Danny's got the best deals going. Thank All you, right? Sean. He's got great promotions that we, we work together on. So Beautiful. you're in good hands with Danny. Thank you, Sean. Thank you All so right. much. All right, Danny.